Unlike in the past when deadlines have been postponed indefinitely, the Communications Commission of Kenya has vowed to switch off all fake phones after September 30th deadline. Now this could see as many as 2.5 million phones switched off as the government cracks down on counterfeit phones in the market. Police force has also joined in the calls for fake phones to be switched off as a measure to curb criminal activity in the country. Now imagine going to bed on the evening of September 30th only to wake up the next day and find that your phone is obsolete. Now this is the harsh reality that faces about 2.5 million phone users who mobile operators say are using fake handsets. <laughs> the CCK has postponed the cutoff three times in September and December last year, as well as April this year, attributing it to logistical challenges. Last year mobile operators opposed switching off all fake handsets to give them time to set up a database with details from mobile manufacturers, as well as educate and sensitize their users. However, speaking to KTN, Kenya Police Deputy Spokesperson Charles Owino added his voice to the same, saying the move is aimed at, among other things, dealing with criminal activity. When phones share EMI numbers, we find it very difficult to track users of those particular phones because you may be uh, guided to a wrong person sharing the similar uh, EMI number. So it's a great step that the counterfeit phones uh, will be switched off. This, however, begs the question of how the fake phones make it in the Kenyan market in the first place if it is already identified as a criminal activity. The easiest way to identify fake phones is that they usually have no after-sales support service for such phones because their warranty is registered in other markets. However, that said, the Consumer Federation of Kenya has come out decrying the plan switch off, saying it's infringing on consumer rights as people go out to buy such phones without knowledge that they might be fake. Now, checking whether your phone is legit or not is simple. You just dial star hash 06 hash and you get a 15 digit IME number. You then send that number to the CCK and they'll send back a confirmation message on whether your phone is legit or not. For KTM Business Today, I am Michael Karanja.